Texas. A deadly EF3 tornado ripped straight through the middle of Wynn, killing four people, leaving behind hundreds of millions of dollars in damage. The town of 8,200 people is still working to pick up the pieces today. Our Pepper Baker went back to Wynn to see how far the town has come since then. Pepper, what'd you find? Richard, it's an eerie feeling being in Wynn a year ago and seeing all of the debris that is covering now vacant lots and to seeing it now with grass growing over those vacant lots that were once houses. It's almost unsettling how you can still make out the tornado's path. But one thing to know about the people of Wynn, they are resilient. We've lost 22 neighbors. I don't know where half of them are. I don't know if they'll ever come back. Michelle McGill looks out at empty lots from her porch that one year ago were covered with debris from homes destroyed by an EF3 tornado. Today, you can still make out its path through Wynn, Arkansas, drawing a line between those properties and the homes still standing. We're lucky enough not to lose our base house, but we lost everything around it. There's two blocks over. You can see the little, um, those reefs, that's where the two people died. It was just that, just a house away from where we are. And they found them on top of each other trying to shield, the man was trying to shield his girlfriend. So it was, it's a sad situation. The storm killed four people, hitting at the beginning of Mayor Jennifer Hobbs' second term. Facing the first natural disaster under her leadership, she sums up how the community feels one year later. Resilient. Um, we are making progress slower than some would like to see. This is the first time I've been through this rebuilding process, and I do think that it, it takes a lot of time. The tornado ripped from the west side of Wynn to the east side here, which is where I'm standing now. Houses that were once on these properties completely cleared. But Mayor Hobbs says within the last year, this is where they're seeing redevelopment happen at a faster rate. We are seeing a lot of our properties that were rental properties that were hit by the tornado. We're not seeing those being rebuilt as quickly as we're seeing individual homeowners rebuilding their homes. 33% of the houses are gone, but um, when you lose that fat, use that many so fast in, in our neighborhood, it's, I don't know if it's gonna be rebuild as quick. Everybody that has been through it said, you know, it can take five to six years um, before you see full recovery. Over the last year, there's been countless recovery efforts, help from volunteers, contractors, and a visit from Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders. So far, FEMA reimbursed the city of Wynn nearly $4 million for disaster relief. Mayor Hobbs estimates the total dollar amount of damage citywide easily crosses the $160 million line. There's still families out there that need help, and um, that help is only based on um, the donations of people that come in. We're looking for people that have money, manpower, and um, resources to, to give to help those families. They should know that we're going to battle for them every day. Um, we're looking for grant funding. We're um, helping um, push behind the, the scenes with wind relief and recovery. Today, most of the damage is cleaned up, but several houses and businesses are still without roofs. Many people are still fighting with insurance companies to rebuild their homes. With a lot of work done, there's still a lot more to do. But one thing the tornado can't seem to break, the city spirit. Uh, is wind still the city with a smile? It is still the city with a smile. <laughs> I, still, I smile every day and I thank God every day for my community. So yeah, I think we are. I feel we'll win strong and we'll, we, will, we will rebuild. Well, touching more on the extent of the damage, the tornado destroyed the city's water distribution plant, which Mayor Hobbs said will take about $22 million to rebuild. <laughs> and that's on top of the high school when high school two is going to take $125 million to rebuild. Yeah, high schools are not cheap to build, no. as we know here. Uh, so we can't forget, of course, though, that four people did lose their lives during this tornado. Right. What do we know about the victims? Well, we do know that the boyfriend and girlfriend were in their early 20s, and then a 30-year-old mother lost her life, as well as a 56-year-old grandmother of four. And I was able to speak to the the grandmother's older brother, but uh, he didn't want to go on camera, understandably yeah. grieving the loss. After all this time, yes. I certainly do understand that. Well, Arkansas's Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders visited Wynn this week to take a look at the progress being made. Uh, this marks her second visit since the tornado struck. A